right. We want to welcome everyone, all the viewers and listeners. You're joining us with Bob Charles, and we're at Pyramid One Radio tonight. So we want to thank everyone here, and we've got uh, John Allen in the back studio, and all the rest of uh, our beautiful, beautiful hosts and hostesses there. Tonight, we're going to be joined with Andrew Mallet, and we're very grateful that he's going to be here in courtesy with uh, Project Incension on YouTube. So thank you for coming, Andrew. Thank you for having me, And again, do check. We do have about, I think, 40-some videos up there, right? And one of my special guests, and uh, very privileged and honored also to, to uh, have as one of my friends, is the Commander-in-Chief, former Sergeant, Patty L. Broussard. And Patty, it's amazing. We're going to talk a little bit about what's really near and dear to my heart. And I love Bob because what do you always say? It's, this show is about what's on your mind, right, Bob? It's, well, the same as the Sunday show, and that it's to find out what the world wants to know about. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's something that, you know, it's kind of like we can, you know, follow some of the different things going on, on Facebook, but. What's really on my mind is a lot of what's on other people's minds. And so this is a collaborative thing I thought we could talk a little bit about tonight because what's really near and dear to my heart, of course, is the water and spring water. So if everyone's got a glass, let's just, you know, have a toast to each other and cheers and uh, start the show off actually properly. So I just wanted to let people know this is, uh, I'm also one of the clan mothers and I'm very privileged to be so the 13th clan mother and part of what we have to do is water blessings and I'm also a mother of two beautiful children and that's also about the cosmic law and that's where everything comes to being a water bearer or a water carrier as well so there's a lot of things going on and I'm sure a lot of people have got questions and so they'll want to call in Bob, do you want to tell them our awesome number there I know you've got that's what I was telling them in that before you before you came in over there I told everybody, and I quote, 843 <laughs> Now listen, I, I really, really want to throw this out to everybody. There's no reason why you can't dial that number. Right now, on the chat, and I'm going to put some more in there. In fact, John in Australia probably put them on the, on, the, uh, on the box for you too. There's mobile numbers. You can get it on your, spa, on your smartphone. You can get it on your regular phone. You can get it on your radio phone. You can get it on your computer. All you got to do is dial 843-300-1399, and you're here. That's amazing. So we've also got a chat language simultaneously. That's correct? Yes, so, but it's right in the box, right in the main, uh, the main listening page. So you've got a couple options, guys. You can go to Bob Charles. We've got Pyramid One Radio. And we've got several different things. We've got that phone in line for you. And we've also got Skype. People want to Skype in. We could do that to right. Robert. All you, Robert Opperman 1. It's R-O-B-E-R-T-O-P-P-E-R-M-A-N 1. And you can come from anywhere on the planet into the Skype. And that as well, we've got a chat line. So if you're feeling a little shy tonight, don't be, because we've got a chat line and we've got uh, all the production staff also watching that for us as well. Patty, I really want to uh, get in some like deep brass tacks of what we were doing. I know one of the things that's been really um, pivotal, I know up here, has been trying to find water and healthy water and clean water. And of course, we know we've got over 200 tribes sitting there at uh, Standing Rock and that's right in the Dakotas. And the Dakota tribes are actually all part of the proclamations, and we're all supporting always for the clan mother. And it's really kind of almost exciting to see because it's kind of like, oh my gosh, this is happening all over again. But it's the same issues in our tissues. It's the same set of, you know, affairs that haven't been settled yet. And again, it's getting almost more and more dramatic because I know for me, I just go and I get Petrovka water. And if people don't know, spring water is totally, totally different. Chemistry-wise, ormus-wise, energetically-wise, the bonds in it, the angles, everything is different. It's almost basically like H3O, O2. So basically, this is something totally different. And I know it might be new to some of the viewers and the listeners, but we're really supposed to be assimilating more 
almost like a triple spiral. It's almost like our hydrogen. We've got to have <laughs> three generators going, <laughs> you know, rather than just being like bipole. And um, one of the things is, is people can go to findaspring.com, and I will let people know I've been on spring water now for probably about five, six years straight. And what an incredible difference it is. That is the most cleansing, and that's why it is the universal solvent. Because one of the favorite books I ever had, and if people haven't had the pleasure, it's called Actually Water and Salt, The Essence of Life, which it truly, truly is. And that is actually by Barbara Handel. And she's got a lot of stuff on YouTube for free, but it's the healing power of nature. And that's what's, you know, the common thread of all of us. It doesn't matter what it is. We're still on this planet. And we still have some form of water, but, you know, we need to know that, you know, people could go to findaspring.com and be able to share in that water. That, that's the elixir of life. And really, as a baby, when, or as a mother, when we're carrying our children, that really is what it is, is it? It's water, salt. And so that's the other thing I really encourage my people to be on is actually, I've got mixtures of actually black Himalayan and salt water. Almost like a, a triple salt as well. Is that if you're using uh, sea salt? Yeah, there's actually sea salt in here too. Sea salt, you, yeah. Yeah, so is it, this is a tri salt. This is my little trinity of salts here. And putting that together, you know, just to get our electrolytes back because it really is ormus rich and it's all about what's in the mother, what's in Gaia. And she's basically keeping everything inside safe for us. And that's why one of the things too, when you get into the raw foods or superfoods, though, is it's bringing up the armus, but the water's really the healing power. And so when we have got that water, seen it being stolen, and that's why some of these other, you know, nations are people that have alienated themselves from basically, you know, natural law, is that they've been doing things, they've been torturing themselves and torturing the water, even worse. That's what they call treated. <laughs> I know as a nurse. I'm not doing any more treatments on people. It's really like virgin water. I think most people know what a virgin is. So this is the purest, the most natural form you can get. It's wild, it's savage, and it's an inherent noble. It's ennobled minerals. And that's one of the things we get into. So this carries actually gold and silver and platinum and iridium and all those extremely high voltage, high energy kind of oils that we call and minerals that we call Ormus or monatomics. So that was one of the things we really wanted to get into. And Patty and I have been doing some phenomenal things the last couple nights. And um, hopefully Patty's screen share will be able to operate it, for a little is bit. It, is it even working? Because it's on. Your screen share isn't, but you might be able if we put it in just the side chat. Yeah, and there's we can Patty. still talk about. But um, Patty, is, do you want to talk a little bit about water? And is it working? Not your screen share, but possibly if we put it over to cut and paste on the chat, we could, and Andrew can pick up. But water is really important in the triple spiral, and it has to do with the degrees and the angle of water. And it has to do with how we ourselves react to things. And in order to hydrate, whether we say all the chakras, all the auras, everything else, that's why those people are there today. There's over 5,000 people right now camped out and we're going to be hopeful to get a hold of Myron and some of the people right on the front lines and some of the women that are there, um, Wyona LaDuke and other people that are in their instrumental. We've now got the Maoris there. We've now got Aztecs and Mayans and all sorts of different groups coming in. Uh, Hawaiians, Diné, you know, I'm, we've got people from our Shwetmak, from Cree Nations coming in from every color, all four directions are coming in there now. And we've had some really exciting things starting to happen because the focus is on these people that have got so much to gift us. And it's not always what people think is the issues in the tissues, but more why are people actually putting up eight feet of barbed wire? Why is there actual people in military and snipers on these people that have been shot at? Horses have been injured and shot at and bleeding and all sorts of atrocities are coming that they're coming into tribal lands that does not belong to technically anyone other than the tribes. 
And so there are many things that we're going to bring to people's attention because they're really not aware of the deeper meanings. And there's actually, as in what we call deeper underground military bases, and that pipeline is not just the pipeline. That water represents all the water for the entire eastern board that when it actually originates, do you know where it is? It originates out of Bob? Do you know? Actually, I'm looking at the map. Do you know it originates off my backyard? No way. Yes. Truly. Nice. But I mean, let's break it down to, I mean, we're complicating the issue. Point blank. This isn't their land. There's a treaty saying they're not allowed to touch it for any reason. And that is being broken. Point blank. Mm -hmm. And, the it's and just worse, they're so sending cops onto another sovereign nation and holding these folks at gunpoint. That's what it comes down to. I have a question about this, Patty. Because I mean, I've been reading a lot about it ever ever since Karen, you know, told me about this. It was uh, it was something that that I mean, it's something that touches me a little bit because I've talked about Indians for a long time, even on this show. Mm -hmm. Here's my point: if that was their land and they have a treaty on their land, then what is the reason they're giving for coming on the land to get the water? Eminent domain for corporation. Well, eminent domain it is, doesn't apply to another country. Well, which is know, what a reservation is. Well, see, my, my point is, what's the fine line between country and or part of country? Okay, eminent domain. I'm being is being is, 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 is for anybody that's a corporate person. They don't really own anything. Therefore, the state can usurp the rights to put something through, uh, which they claim to be for the betterment of all. Right. However, that does not apply to other countries. And insofar as it goes, the tribes actually own all of this land. They've stolen a lot of it. Uh, we did sign treaties for you know, the tribes to, you know, keep some of it inviolated, and that's what now they're violating. Claiming it, eminent domain on another country. Because basically, the tribes are sovereign. They, they are effectively a, a separate country. And this is the interesting thing, um, Bob, I'll just kind of point out, is that technically sort of by law, what's called a noble savage, that's actually technically the, the law sort of realm I'm in. Right, right, right. So I'm not a private or a public person, nor am I an inhabitant, someone that's been colonized and conquered or signed and took away the rights for monetary gain. And that's what's happened when people, and we have to be very clear that a covenant or slash a treaty is only actually authorized by a desert clan mother. So there are a lot of areas up in this area, and I wouldn't use the area of Canada, but as people think, oh, you know, they're in Treaty 6 land or in Treaty 8 land or in Treaty 10. It's the it's, thing, it, too. They're not no, no, no clan, No clan mother even signed the treaties that allowed them on any of this property. To start with from day one. They held tri tribal chiefs at gunpoint and got them to sign, but the tribal chiefs don't have that authority either. Crap, crap. And yeah. so it's been stolen and observed <laughs> from day one. <laughs> and, and the group that did it, effectively, their right to even operate independently, they violated every tenant of the treaty and then some of the treaty that was made with the clan mother in 640 BC. And even if they didn't violate them, all of that, that all, that treaty expired September uh, 22nd of 2013. Not that we waited that long because Karen served notice August 8th of 2013 and she ran. And I'm just, let me know if you can see my screen share. I'll be able to break up some of these for a PowerPoint oh, yeah. a little bit. They coming through? Okay. Yeah. This is actually kind of the area that you're looking at um, a little bit, what's going on here. And you can see the Black Hills into here and a little bit where we've got the tribal standoff here. And what we do have is you're going to know, and again, people that are aware of ley lines and sacred vortex lines and PowerPoints, these all exist, and the original nations existed before you see those little white lines called states and, and provinces. Right, right, right. Okay? So we don't recognize them, nor do I. Okay? So I, I would say 
Chuck and Scalamuter, I'm known as, and I'm out of the Shwetmak Nation out by Kamloops. And I grew up in, you know, the Cree Nations, Neowak Nations on the land. You know, I don't recognize part of the Corporation of Saskatoon or Saskatchewan or that type of thing. So it's the same thing with these people here. These are all the tribes representing just about everyone on the planet right now. And that water originates at the very beginning at a place called Cypress Hills, way up there by the number six, just past here if you went through that white line. And you can see there's a white line if you put a ruler there that comes through. And what we're doing is they're going after all the waterways. Now they've already started in those areas through fracking and what happened also in Fort McMurray and what they've done in the North Saskatchewan and fires being set, chemicals being done. We actually had a research. It, here's lake. the thing. You know where the stuff that's going through that pipe comes from? They dug a big hole up there and built a dome underground. There it goes. That's the origin. If, if you look at the map above that, show them the map above that with the pipeline and where uh, all that material is coming from. Uh, it's from the dump site. And that's what we have going in there. Is that that dump site also, by the way, translates to deep underground military base. And this is actually what's called the Dakota Pipeline Project. They're not exactly keeping the peace pipe. <laughs> and they're not. They're not even. They're not just shooting for a right of way to put a pipe through either. They're trying to take that whole reservation back. Uh, if you look at the look pink at grid. The, yeah. Right. They want the whole, the whole thing back via right of domain and turn tribal land over to a corporation. Which is just, you know, that's just bullshit. And part of the thing too, and I, you know, I just happen to be north there. So where this is all happening at, 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 you know, Standing Rock and stuff like that, I'm actually due north probably about six hours. So I'm not that far outside this. Yeah. You know, ridge here. And yeah, one of the things too, a little bit below, but yeah. yeah, just a little bit. And one of the things too is that what people are not aware of, and I'm just going to bring this one up here too. This is a basic map, and it's referred to as a deep underground military base. And this will be the map here coming. Yeah, this is so, the top. The, the, the surface bases that are most numerous, and they're. Um, the, the uh, Illuminati cabal and the military industrial complex. Right. So as you can see, what Patty and I have been doing, and kind of that little dot there, just to the left of where it says USA, but that's actually up here. That's in the in the blood tribes. And Schwetmack is just north in there, and we actually have the Sinaiics in between before we get into the blood tribes and into the Cree. But in here where you got all the Dakotas right below us, we've all lived in in harmony and in peace and accord. And what's happened is these little things where you can see there by Medicine Hat and the other one that's round up here um, is Nelson. And so they transit into what's called deep underground military bases. Now bear in so mind the lines and the dotted lines are underground, mm -hmm. high speed electromagnetic tram tunnels. So now you now you can see if you compare these three maps and where the pipeline's going, where the tribal land is, why that whole thing that Obama did with oh we'll just run it around is is a, 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 you know a load of BS. There's a reason why they didn't put it there to begin with. Instead, they crossed over the river three times mm -hmm. with the, the path they've got now, and it's because it's they have to get it over that dumb transit line. I was gonna. I was gonna say they're protecting themselves. There you go. Yeah, that's really exactly. I mean, I'm looking at the map too, and I mean, I can remember that. I, I actually have a little little picture of the uh, the one with the with the uh, water water pipe mm -hmm. on it, and I'm looking at the both of them in it together, and I'm saying to myself, "Wait a minute, hold it." They're, what they what they're doing is they they just don't want to get in their own way. One of the interesting things, too, is that when you look at this area historically, I mean, this goes right back to what was going on. We were talking today. I was with, uh, talking with Boyd Anderson up at Soak here, and we were talking about what happened you know, with Sitting Bull, and every time there's been war or calamities or like martial law and stuff like that, they brought the women up to these areas for safety. Even when you had a pole shift or, you know, these areas were actually, all those areas are original flora and fauna. For example, I've got... 450 species of untouched virgin plants up here 
that we have between prairie, spring water, boreal forest, and marshland all within 20, 30 miles of each other. And it's up some of these areas over 4,000 feet. So our areas were just as high as Banff or what you call the Rocky Mountains up here. It's, not, it's, it's not amazing. Exact. If you, you you follow that down to the western edge of the Dakotas, okay, that big circle there, that's a big transit hub. You know what that place is? That is Black Rock. That is right. one of the original tribal I sacred see. centers that they kicked everybody off of and built a dome under it. And this has been happening and happening and happening. Even one of the areas up in here where there was another one called the, again, International Peace Gardens just under Winnipeg, has become actually known as one of the Ninth Circle Satanic Rings where they do most of their satanic rituals and pedophile it's, practices. Yeah, it's right, right where the dumb is. Yeah. Abduction it's, it's, of people. It's, a, it's an exit from that dumb that's right there at that, where the little wiggle up in the uh, United States border is. You got a big dome there, and the the exit right there is uh, that that tribal center. Uh, th that used to be a tribal center. I've got that pinned on the uh, on my my Google one where it was a tribal. Um, and just to the left of that is uh, the entire Masonic. Uh, I mean, what is that like? Three counties entirely they took over there. A Masonic group. It kicked everybody out that's not a member of the Masons. They just own you? that whole area. <laughs> I, I can see you holding your breath and going, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer him all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. I know what, what he's actually talking about over there, and you know, the thing really, really sticks me in the throat all the time anyway, ever since I really did any studies on it at all. But you guys know, uh, America is a corporation anyway. No matter how you want to look at it or whatever else, it says the United States of America. Right. So we are, each state is the United States of America or of this corporation. Well, that's, that's fixing the change. The um, thing has already gone into, con you know, been written up, uh, got signatures on it, and now it's gone into Congress because uh, the people of D.C., want to kick them right out and make D.C. the 50 work per state. I have no idea. Probably. I, I can see that. I mean, I, I, that's, I, that's on the floor of Congress already. In the last, uh, in the last voting, as a matter of fact, for our, for our new president, uh, I saw some of the, some of the people where some of the voters were going or the votes were going. And I'm telling you something, man, they are really, really into the elite or the black side of our country, something fierce, like over 99% voted for the other candidate. Not well, here's the, the thing. One. The whole thing, uh, nobody really wanted Trump, and Trump is sort of like a placeholder, but it's to get the cabal out. That's the entire point. Not a bad point. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe the problem is, right now, maybe somebody would listen. The, tr the problem is Trump financially backs that pipeline. I, that I have no idea about. I, I haven't seen anything on that whatsoever. He even made that a part of his public statement that he's going to push that through. Yeah, but it depends upon where. You know, like, we, do, we don't know what Right doing. where it is. Yeah. Yeah. Still, I mean, there, there's got to be a way to go around. Not unless you go all the way back to the top and, and go around the river. Well, well I'd rather Up there and then come down again. I'd rather spend $500 million on our country then send it on a wooden pallet over to our thing. We don't need it. Right, we don't need it. We have absolutely no need for that at all. They've been using free energy for 50 years. Where are they, where are they sending the water to? That's what I'd like to know. That, that, no, they're not sending water. They're sending oil. All right, even if they send oil, where are they sending it to? St. Louis. So they, there is no way in effort for them to actually get the oil from one way to the other way well, using a pipe, pipeline. No, they can truck it. They've been trucking it. This is about profiteering. This is about more faster. That's what they're talking about. Yeah, yeah. about profiteering. Right. Make more money faster. If you put a pipe down there, then you don't have to wait for, for the oil to get to a terminal. 
But the one that's already there, they're going to leave it. And that's all contaminated area, the old one. And that goes through tribal, you know, burial grounds. Right. Let's see what happened if they did that in the, where they they're buried all the soldiers. People would be freaking out. Yeah. But it's Indian, so they don't care. You know, mm -hmm. The American people I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the government. I'm talking about the American people not doing anything because it's Indians. It's not their, their sons and daughters. Here's care. the thing. Here's the really important thing, okay, with Trump getting elected. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Corporation's over. Hmm. That's step one, so. They didn't get 65% to vote. For the corporation. The corporation is over. Null and right. void now. Right. Technically, by international law. And what supersedes into a nation then is actually the clan mothers. And that is at the Hague Court level for international law. So if you look up the definition of a nation, it will tell you very clearly that they're run by digital clan mothers. And one of the things I just want to point out, I'm just going to bring something up here. I've, I've just got a few things in the in the chat box I'll bring up for our, our viewers and stuff. Is this is one of the original contracts, actually, that um, was done many, many, many years ago. And this is kind of like doing you know, the law of the flags, which was very interesting because that's why you saw some different um, people that were vets and in the Navy flying even the flag upside down of the Americans because it's not only in distress, it's gone down. And so it doesn't even technically exist anymore. But when you go into this, this was one of the original, um, what we call agreements, covenants, contracts, as people tend to think here, that was done. Um, it's called the Fairy Queen, actually. And these were all actually in these. Again, that was an illegal one. Yeah, that yeah. Uh, had no basis in fact. It was the clan mother's rights were usurped by Morgan right. Le Fay, who was a human. Uh, Elvin Fay hybrid. But going into this, no right to sign it. we have what you're seeing at the top, and I'll bring it a little bit clearer. This is actually the Stardust because it's the original, a gut like Stardust or, or treaty or times constellation, all sorts of things. That's actually to the original clan mother, which is in my actual flag and stuff as well. Now, one of the things too is when we were talking about Standing Rock in some of these areas. And this is a really, really, really important thing, is that people need to go, where is this? What does it look like? Well, water's all about life. And so one of the things we need to do is that this is common to all of us. And that is about the sacredness of being with people in peace and also having marriages. So this is actually the Standing Rock area. This is the view. And I'm actually going to show you the sacred sites that we have here. There have been like pyramids and what you call almost same sort of ley lines and stuff when the tribes were set down that you have in Stonehenge, Avebury, you know, way before even the, the pyramids were ever done. Some of the original pyramids and stuff are on this area. So Standing Rock, and there's many, many things, you know, people can go in and take a look at. They've got teepees set up, but you'll see people from all over there. And I, this has now become the size of, as you think, the biggest eco village everywhere. <laughs> this is over 5,000 to 9,000 people on the weekend already. And I now have friends okay. to decide to move there too. Point blank, the star disk. Start and end of the treaty. Those are the two. Okay? Realignment. Bang. That treaty's over. And if they couldn't get 60. 5% of the uh, vote to keep the, uh, you know, the uh, commerce cabal system in, it's over. If they couldn't get 65% of the people to, to vote to keep it in, it's over. That's this, okay? That's what her seal is. That's the meaning of that. That's the start and end of that con the contract on that disc signed in 640 BC. It's also So this is something that goes back literally in stone. <laughs> There's a place called Writings in the Stone, not far from Elkwater, but that is literally in stone. That yes. is it is. It may be not grit, but it's literally etched into stone. I mean, she she did, you know, over the term of that, 
violate every tenant of that treaty because she wasn't supposed to harm tribes. She wasn't supposed to involve any other uh, clans. You know, that's, you know, groups of people um, other than her own. And I, I mean, all that. I mean, she not only uh, got them involved, she was killing all tribes and doing all sorts of stuff. But, uh, so, yeah, she violated every tenant of that treaty, but, and then some. Including, uh, you know, doing uh, tri you know, tribal children and mass graves and everything. I mean, that's what that's what the meaning of Karen Seal is. That's the dates of that treaty and the ending of it. So that's I, actually I, a I very. I did the workup of that and uh, you know uh, how it uh, did, does to uh, star constellations and you know the start of it and the end of it. Period. Hey, here's a, here's a question now. Mm -hmm. Patty, I think I can direct this to you. What or where are they standing now on this issue? They're out. You mean they left their land? No, that the land was never theirs to begin with. It was temporarily granted to them, and even that was over only over in England. She had no right to go to any other country, Africa like they did, and India, and, and um, you know, uh, over here and you know everywhere else the british empire uh ran roughshod over they had no rights okay that. that was in violation of the treaty you understand what i'm doing here because everything but even england they don't even control england anymore the vatican england that whole group they're on um their leases expired essentially and not just on the land but on their ruling, okay. everything to do with the British crown and all its heirs, uh, you, you know, the whole intuitive group, they're out of power. And that includes where those members of family are now ruling other countries as well. That's all of them. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this out, get the message out there, cleaned up in truth, because everything that we've heard on, on TV, on the media, and everything else that, I mean, I, 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 I do listen to it. I have to. It, but, it's not just beyond that even because all right, but you gotta understand um, Queen Elizabeth was tried and convicted and before she was sentenced in the world court she pulled a runner so she's also a fugitive from justice okay I that's a, that's okay but as I said what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the real story out there because what you hear on TV what everybody's look I talk to people every day groups and 99% of the time that somebody will turn around and if I say something about the Indians and what they're fighting for and land and water, et cetera, et cetera, and I go through my whole list of stuff, they'll turn around and go, they are? That's because they're asleep. <laughs> no, it's like, huh? What? Indian? I, I, I mean, we can, we can, we can, you know, argue that later. I, you got to understand the Clintons, the Bushes. Yeah, but knowledge is power. Oh, Let, let's Obama. Power. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, Clinton, Bushes. Obama, okay. Schiff. All, all of those folks, they were all Tudor group, family lineage. Yeah. All of them. Well, they, they all have yeah. warrants for their arrest in the world court. Oh, yeah. Let's, okay. just, let's just deal with that. Get them out of here. I put, and get them put behind bars or whatever. Come on. Look, look, look what they were yelling at when, when the uh, president, uh, what's it, they were counting the, the votes and everything else. That put her in jail. Put her in jail. I mean, it, this is going on all over the place. Plus, we got riots. Come on. Where have you been? We got riots going on over here to get Trump out, and he, has, he hasn't even got in yet. Okay. You need to understand something. Yeah. Obama and uh, Clinton paid for the bus, hired those right. people there, right. protesting and getting paid to do so. Right. Exactly. So, so that's, a, that's a farce. When you see yeah. them on TV, stuff, there's all paid screwballs. And look, at all, and look at all the rest of them. Look at all the rest of them that said that, that if that person uh, you know, was voted in, they were moving to Canada. We, <laughs> there's, there's, there's two, there's two mil uh, millionaires. I, I invite people to do this. Yeah. Look at this protest. Yeah, but they yeah. want to give them tickets to get out. No, I, I invite people to do this. Look at the, the protests on cameras and look very carefully at the people who are protesting and then go back to Sandy Hook, um, the shootings in, in Florida, the uh, the shootings out there in, uh, uh, where was it, uh, uh, Oregon? At the, yeah. movie, the uh, movie theater, okay? And look at all these actors, because guess what? They're all the same people. They're crisis actors. 
They're the same actors that played in all the false flag events. <coughs> Boston bomb and uh, during the uh, um, the uh, Boston Marathon, um, mm -hmm. the Sandy Hook, um, the the fake uh, school shooting in Connecticut. All of it. They're all the same people. Well, that that can be a show all by itself. I mean, I'm, no, <laughs> no, no. I'm dying. Come on, when, when somebody somebody took took a video of a fi of a family, and I haven't found it yet, but I am going to find it. But it was a family that was in Canada that was mm -hmm. one of the families that was wiped out in Connecticut. Yeah. Yes. They took a pic. It would, look, it's okay that if you've got two kids look the same or two adults that look the same. When you get the whole family that looks the same, now there's something going on here. Okay. <laughs> okay. When pressed on the point and we checked with the FBI, there was no deaths in that county and all that. Eventually, all this got pressed to Obama and he actually admitted it on camera. That it was all wrong. Awesome. Well, he he really, I'm telling you, he, he always says, talks about his legacy. His legacy is nothing but one lie after another lie after another lie after another lie. And he sold himself for another four years, four years ago, to give us now a total of eight years. No, he didn't sell himself. That, that, you got to understand. It wasn't until this year the whole voting matrix uh, falsehood has really come out because um, there haven't been any elections of anybody uh, since Kennedy. That's true. You got that right. Yes, absolutely. I mean, look what happened to him when he told the truth. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a dangerous uh, situation. But here's the thing. They're out on their ass. I mean, the whole corporation is out on their ass. Yes. They didn't get the 65% they needed to stay in control here. They're out. See ya. Trump's not a member. Mm -hmm. He's forget. not a member of the family uh, or the bloodline. So, uh, matter of fact, it is comical today. I was watching this today. All the people in England and everything, you know, uh, actually passed the rulings that Trump couldn't even come in the country. All these people now over there... In, in Germany and England and everything, all these you know, major political people have to do a, a complete 180 because he's now technically the president and they have to let him in the country. Yep. <laughs> yep. Too bad. Sorry. <laughs> I, you know, seriously, I mean, you know, when, when he got together with, the, with, the, with our current uh, lame duck president today, I mean, I had a laugh because I saw the picture. I don't know whether you guys have seen it yet. But there was a picture of them sitting together, and both of them were looking at different. Well, first of all, uh, um, Trump looks like he's really pissed off at somebody, and Obama's looking somewhere else. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like. Well, it's curious because, you know, Trump disappeared right after that. Not even the major media knew where he went to because um, they have a hit out. A contract out on Trump oh, right now. We, we, uh, we, we were just talking about that today, as a matter of fact. And Trump's not going to give him the opportunity. Nope. Nope. And he's not a trusted Secret Service either. He's got his own security. Oh, they're just as bad. Yeah, but he's always had his own security anyway, so that doesn't matter. Well, that's what I mean. The uh, Secret Service is back uh, by the cabal and the ETs. So. so. Yeah, his guys. His guys are. are but you'll never know who they are. You'll never even see them around him. His guys. They, they're they're that good. Yeah. These are some interesting things I've just been putting up, Patty, too. Um, there's some different pictures we've been looking at here. And one of the ones I'm putting up is how people would feel if these people were sitting here, and we have been, and I've been in sweat lodges, and I've been doing ceremonies, too, that these people are just out camping. We're on our own land. And imagine how that would be. And you know how people freak out if they're even stopped for a parking ticket, let alone a speeding ticket or going through. Can you imagine having this and having tear gas and having bullets shot at our women there and our children? There was like teenagers that were just out riding on horses and the horse had been shot. So the interesting thing is we've had people coming from all over. There's actually um, one of the veterinarians is actually been sending supplies with horse trailers to come up. So. The actual site is growing and growing and growing, but just let imagine me, if me, that was you out swimming and, and camping and you came up to this. Let me let me add to that, because medics 
with uh, you know the medic symbol on their vehicle and everything went out there to help these people and they shot the medics and also being part of the, the press and the truth press and stuff and, is that and here's the other thing taken. you need to understand who these troops are that's g4s a non-legal government black project sponsored security force who doesn't have the rights to enforce jack shit in this country at all do this mercenaries the mercenaries and quite often they, I may wear the the bad, they have no legal right to to do anything so they, i don't hear you Karen, say that again actually um you've seen actually the people with the uh patches if you know how to look at the patches actually quite often black operations will have different patches on their sleeves or um on their headgear and stuff and you'll notice that these are not even the american flag so if you look very closely you'll you'll see details that these are actually mercenaries basically soldiers or private security thing being hired which again you know it, it's creating a huge deception and, and people are, are under false assumptions this is why and i'll just put one here quickly so people can see this is actually a little screenshot here and you can actually see the navy officer and they have been actually simultaneously the veterans are now coming together and actually um patty and um the international forces have done some incredible things to assist the people also planetary wise but solar wise and basically are doing things to open up people's third eye and playing with incredible frequencies that help elevate and basically help enlighten people to the point that these former officers and what we call peacekeeping and oath keepers are now they're in uniform and not but you can see this actual navy officer is actually flying the flag upside down next to the eagle staff and the actual police have been we've had six no eight total actually turn, turning their badge and join our side that we're mm -hmm. actually police so that's going to say a lot you know for things here but um again a lot of people don't realize the amount of trauma that is going on here and we have you know drones being shot at people have got their own drones because that's the only way some of the people on the ground have been able to see things other than with the courtesy and assistance that Patty has helped facilitate. But I mean, um, yeah, let's bring it down to the basics. What rights do private security have on private property that doesn't belong to the corporation, much less on another, the, the, you know, the uh, grounds of another uh, sovereign nation? Zip. Right. Nothing. None. None. And so we've had right now, basically, there was over 140 some people have been actually and just treated worse than in Auschwitz. They've actually been put with markers on their hands. They've been tied up and they were put into dog kennels over the weekend and arraigned. Um, Myron Dooney as well is another one that's we've got live truth press coming in. They've been interfering with all their bandwidth. And they've not been just that. interfering. Stalking. Stalking. Tribal members. You know, young girls, you know, not even on the property, in the town nearby, stalked by cops, pulled over, yanked out of the car. She wasn't even driving. No, no, um, as the, you know, the legal way of it goes, no even probable cause to pull that car over, but took everybody in the car, strip searched them, left them overnight in a cell with no clothes on. And this is how they're treating our women out there. They are being basically sexually assaulted and molested. Well, they've actually been doing what you call prayers. So, I mean, if people would have think that they were actually like going into their church or whatever on the land, and they've gone in while the, the women and the men have been in ceremony in the teepees, praying, smudging, doing what they can to get close to the creator. And can you imagine if someone would come into someone's church or synagogue or something and start doing that, which at this point, Again, those being corporations are no longer welcome as well. And, and let's look at what happened up in Oregon, right? The Bundy Ranch issue. They eventually found in court uh, that the Bundys were right. They were on their rights to do what they did. And yet, that land, Hillary Clinton still sold to Russia. Yeah. And, and they're shit out of luck. Yes. So, I mean, it, it's a very similar situation where they sent in. G4S troops 
against the law, no right to do anything, and they were shooting them on private property. Same thing. Um, because yeah. that, the, the Bundys had the, the, the title, uh, I want to say title to land, but it's not title. When the land grants were, went out, they owned that property because uh, they, they basically won it and staked it out before that any of the cities or anything were there that had been in the family forever. Uh, granted, it was stolen from the tribes, but um, the corporation didn't own it either. And they kicked them off. And one of the things that's really interesting is these pipelines, it's not like it's one or two. They've been busting and busting and busting. We've seen what's happened already in the North Saskatchewan, the Key Saskatchewan. We've seen what's happened in many different areas. And now we've had another pipeline. I mean, we're now they've been bursting and bursting. And just the fact of the frequency of where they would be on that ley line energetically, there's no way they would hold in there. You gotta, it's, it's, the vibration. It's, it's like the nuclear cabal who's, you know, uh, exempt from a lot of the laws, like the CFC laws and stuff, which is why we have no ozone. Um, they build these pipelines with the cheapest material they can find to hand to cover the distance and last at least five years. That's it. That's, that's the um, uh, field rating of this pipe. And basically after five years, they break. We, we, we've had, what, in the past week alone, three of them go. Uh, right. One of them exploded, and one's on fire currently still. And, you know, it's like, uh, how much of this are you going to you know put up with? Especially when it's going right through the major water supply for a, a whole lot of people. This could basically take out most and not, of the and not, board. Not just, not just tribes. We're talking both Everyone. sides of uh, everything from the Canada border down to um, Louisiana. And right through. This goes right through. The Battle Creek that's up here at Cypress Hills that we have goes all the way down into the Mississippi, Missouri, and all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. This particular one as well runs through here, and you can just see the black how it's going through. That would basically take out everyone's water on the entire eastern board. Now, the other one that we have as well up by Silverton and stuff is held up from Revelstoke, and there's 76 dams going all the way to Seattle, and our other one right now is holding for all the western board. So either way, this has got to be stopped. It's not just fracking. You know, there's no necessity when we've got all sorts of things from magnetic machines, wind, solar, hydro, and radiation. This fracking alone has just about destroyed almost everything. It is, between that and smart meters, this is basically acts of war and genocides and treason upon the tree, on the people. Again, we can have and, and people are looking for, you know, for the uh, United Nations to do something. Guess what, folks? The United Nations in, in uh, Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030 signed on board to poison and kill all but 2% of the remains of humanity. So don't go looking for them for help. The other ones that signed on board, every nation that's a member of the United Nations signed on board, basically signed a pact for mass murder of all but 2% of the remaining human population. There it is in a nutshell. Bang. The United Nations is the uh, creation of the Rockefellers, isn't it? Yes. And if you're looking, you know, the whole reason why Chernobyl didn't get... Um, reported on properly and, and all the damage that, it, that got done by there because the World Health Organization, in order to get set up, signed an agreement where they could not publish anything that went directly against the Atomic Energy Commission. In other words, they are nothing but chills for the nuclear cabal, period. And if they do say something publicly, that goes against the will of the nuclear cabal, they get locked up in Leavenworth. That's the sad truth of it. That's a, you know, that really, that's, that's a lot to put around, put together in that, and it's not, like nothing is being done about it. All of it. I, I want, and, and I told this to my allies upstairs, I want the, the uh, United Nations gone. Mm -hmm. And all those people locked up. They they signed a pact to commit mass murder. 
that right there is not only that's not just treason against their own nation that's treason against humanity as a whole i hope the listeners can wrap their head around that when you see that u.n u.n trucks and stuff like that that's what you're dealing with you're dealing mm -hmm. with assassins Period. Absolutely. The whole point of, of these fake wars is to get all United States troops off U.S. soil, bring foreign troops in to U.S. soil that won't hesitate to shoot you. That was the entire point. Uh, the, uh, the, all right. Let, let's put it this way. Let, let's go a little crazier here. So they're tra trading uh, or they're trading, or training ISIS over there to come over here? No. No. U.N. troops to come over here to take your guns away and purge you to FEMA camps and take all U.S. troops and get them involved overseas. So well, they're not here to defend their own people. I'm just saying, from where those people come from, they're killing machines. They come from, yeah, yeah. ISIS is, is run by the CIA. Right. But it's a ISIS and machine. ISIL is run by Obama, the cabal, uh, you know, the uh, Queen Elizabeth cabal, and the CIA is the main director of, of all that. But Obama even got caught supplying them. So, Pat, not only with weapons and supplies, but money. Let's be let's be hypothetical here. How would you? Well, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on your lap here for a second. What would you do to stop it? Bring all my troops home. Ah, see, get, that's something I said last time we were on this. Give them all their weapons and all their equipment, <laughs> and send them to their actual home to defend themselves. You know, themselves and their family. Which is what and we've asked kick, for. And kick all the UN uh, troops off this, and other nation troops off this continent. Send them home. So someone should give some kind of an order that everybody just takes their, their guns net, puts them on their back, get on a train or a plane or a bus, whatever, and come home. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, we did. Um, one of the things I'm just bringing to people's attention to is we had some beautiful things happen. I'm just showing an overview uh, of basically of a live footage that was done by the drone of all the actual buffalo showing up. And this is very significant. It's um, prophecy. And um, Patty, you want to tell how excited we are when we saw those those <laughs> buffalo coming? Yeah. Can you explain a little bit about that? And I watched when uh, the Pixie Fay uh, herded them through a portal up in uh, Yellowstone uh, two months ago, and then opened a the portal here for them to come out for this to defend that land. So, so when you see this thing about digital smokes and you see about the black snake, this has to do with constellation too. It's kind of like not just Bible, but prophecy and stuff too in the Hydra and the Draco. So it's, it's kind of interesting when you get into that kind of stuff. It, it kind of all ties together. But the buffalo showed up and you got to remember what this means to the people. The people were, you know, this is a sacred Thing. And there's a great prophecy you can look up. It's called the White Calf Buffalo Woman. But this is actually, this is a mountain of buffalo bones and stuff like that with prayers it's and stuff. And, and that, that's what they did. It's not just that oh, either. Good. It's the meeting of the, the eagle and the condor. Exactly. And, and the condors have come up from South America mm -hmm. to the United States. And that's sometimes the hardest thing for people. It's maybe coming from basically, you know, the heart coming from your head to your heart and getting in touch with each other and stuff like that. Right well, now, these people are being well, stalked day and night here. One of the tribal guys actually held his arm out, and an American eagle landed on his arm and allowed the tribes to pet it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, why don't, why don't we wrap this up in that a little bit by putting together some of the some of the solutions to this? That's what I'd like to focus on is what is the solution? The solution is the solution. It's the water. And getting our triple spiral actually repaired. And part of the thing is that's why I'm going to talk a little bit about actually going into some of the things. We need to get people back into finding out what water is. Water is not out of a tap. It's not out of your reverse osmosis. It's not out of a Brita filter, and it certainly doesn't come out of a bottle. Most people have access to springs, and if they don't, they can locate them. I know, a I, lot of Karen's single-minded about this. What I think what he means is, how how do we uh, you know, 
address this situation because telling people about it isn't getting anywhere. No, this is why I'm coming to. Um, I could just we have to that. disassemble the system. Because mm -hmm. once you bring out the black projects into the light, all the solutions are already there. It's not like we have to create a, a solution. They're, they already exist. Even if we have to go down there, dis disassemble where they've got them installing these dumps and bring them up. I mean, there are, I mean, I could give you, there's five layers of dumps around the entire planet. Thousands of dumps. All we actually need to do is go down there, raid them, bring them up, and um, we don't have to have oil at all anymore, or gas, or no more fracking, no more any of it. It's all there already, already built. Well, I mean, we don't even have to build it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think one of the things too is, and I agree with exposure. that. Exposure, exposure. It's bringing things out like what we're doing today, right? But simply, part of it is with me, and that's why I'm saying water is the simple. Sometimes it's freeing your mind because in Saskatoon here, they have fluoride, for example, Bob. These people's minds are not free <laughs> at all. And, and we're spending half the time educating people, but getting them back to basics and getting that triple spiral put together. So H3O2 is like having your triple spiral. That's why we need stuff like Salmac and very simple things. Just to get people cleaned out is, is a huge thing. I know today I was laughing because I finally got my plumber. And I you know just to find things for the colon hydrotherapy machine, you know, at ion faucets and getting things like that. Everyone's got to start taking responsibility for themselves. You know, and we know that there's many different levels here of deep underground military bases and stuff. One of the things we're going to show is actually just strange stuff. We need to bring to people's awareness what's going on. And one of the things that was ha happening, um, for example, the last couple of days in Saskatoon, we have been having these different planes all over the place. And actually, I'll start maybe because it's more, we may have more listeners down there for a bit. But Washington, for example, we're getting chemtrails and stuff. And I just have to show this to you because I couldn't sleep the last couple of nights. And basically what was happening is I kept hearing all this noise. And one of the things that we saw here were these flight patterns. So people can go to um, a plane finder there. And I just want to show you this here. This is, um, people can go to, this is what was going on in Washington all within like an hour. These are flight patterns. This is what's affecting the people and their right. minds. We need to start Lith on the ground and getting Lith the water. Lithium. Lithium's that's, in there. Not, you know, that's 20 years old. Not that picture. Not that no, I know what that was like two nights ago. The use, the use of what's been sprayed. I mean, you should see what's over my head. It's close. I mean, it's like tic-tac-toe over my head. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and let, like, let me say this. You, you expose everything that's going on to the people. And here's the thing is getting the knowledge out to the people. This is what you get. Not only do you have all the equipment for free power, you have the fact that uh, the why they made um, Salmonac illegal. You have the seven cures for cancer that don't involve radiation. You have the facts about radiation and getting all the power plants shut down. Um, <laughs> magnetic motors go in Tesla cars. You never need to plug it in. You can drive the car until it, it, it falls apart. Falls apart. That, um, that's, uh, that's uh, what do they call it? Um, kinetic, kinetic motors. Mm -hmm. uh, quantum magnetics, yes. Right. Um, again, everything's there. And it, it's a matter of, of, of waking the people up, getting the fact of what is go actually going on at the tribes out into the people's actual, you know, brains. <laughs> The me they own the media. That's, a, that's another whole issue we have to take down. The media is controlled by uh, the Illuminati group. And they've been selling lies. Uh, some of them being coerced with their family held hostage. Uh, others just sold out. There is no fourth estate currently. Um, you get that out to the people, uh, and we start, you know, uh, tackling these problems. Uh, with, the, with the stopping of the fracking, uh, stop polluting in the water, um, and fixing our bodies, and then we can start addressing directly getting rid of all these toxins. Patty, uh, I really want to thank you. Um, we're you just wrapping up here. Okay. Yeah. And um, 
I just want to see if there's anything else just in your final thoughts um, where people can get a hold of you if they have questions, because I know you've got an awful lot at Project Incension. And what's the best way to get a hold of you, Patty? Either on Facebook or on Skype. Facebook, it's uh, Patty L. Broussard, that's uh, two T's, I-E, um, or uh, Patty Brackett, dash 2014, on Skype. Excellent, excellent. And I really want to thank Andrew. What's the best way to get a hold of you? You got like, I know, because you got an awesome site there at YouTube. <laughs> yeah, thanks again. YouTube, Project Ascension, Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, uh, Project Ascension uh, at gmail.com, everything. I think it's just awesome. And again, if anyone's got any questions, they can get a hold of us too. Oh my gosh, uh, clanmother13 at gmail.com. We're at uh, Pyramid One Radio here Thursdays, and that's 8 p.m. on Eastern, following Rob Potter. And uh, we're with Bob Charles. And then, of course, we've got Facebook. That's why I've been bringing some of these up. I mean, it is actually such an absolute pleasure to be up here and to be with the different people and protecting the water and starting some of this and being after these sacred sites and medicine wheels. It, it's an absolute pleasure to be back with people that actually – are in peace here and and one 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 keynote folks with the deals i've made with the solar legion on planet we get these people taken down they'll they'll bring down um what they call as triage centers to help people get cleaned up and get healed and replicate a technology to because we get in exchange for letting them set up embassies uh so we can do this on a global scale in a heartbeat once we get these folks shut down and these folks I'm just putting on, as Patty's referring to, is this based on the U.S. population, that the actual people here that are actually only, even if human, is less than 30% of the population. I'll leave this up for a few minutes just so people can see actually the other artificial intelligences, Anunnaki clones, and other assorted species that actually compromise the majority, unfortunately, of this planet. And these are the people that are coming against the people. So we need to all come together at this time in peace and in love. And I want to thank you for sharing your evening. Bob, any final thoughts too? Yeah, you don't want to want to aim on here. Ned. What are we going to do next week? You know, I'm really excited. You know, I'm trying I to get a hold of you. I, I feel this. <laughs> I feel this out of you. I can see I feel this. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I'm trying to get a hold of Myron, and I've got some – Awesome people, too. We're talking about getting Salmac, so we'll be bringing up people like Maria Wheatley. Um, and I'm trying to get a hold of people like Aaron Brockovich and a few of my uh, dynamite women that are on the front course of all this. Okay. Um, Maria well, we're, we're, making, we're making so much progress with the people that both the, the warehouses here in the United States that sell it have gone empty. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, stuff at Salmac. So we want to thank um, all the different people here at uh, Soccer Bit. There's one called CC Hobby. And we're really grateful because Steve Adler, who is a friend of mine, as is a friend and partner of David Wolf with Sacred Chocolate. So we're looking at doing some really pivotal stuff, like putting the Salmac into like the Sacred Cacao, which they're also playing with 20 of their Amazonium herbs and also um, CBD is going in there. So I'd move the same thing up here. And um, I'm going to be getting into the water tech and um, I'll let you know how my colon hydrotherapy machine in the enemas progresses. <laughs> well, there's some place yeah. I'll be and some place it won't be. We get, we get the we get the Gwen Tower shut down and Gaia yeah. will fix the rest because she's <laughs> been broadcasting it right along. You know, and it's DNA amazing. repair code. Yeah. You know, and even it starts in your own place. So where I am, just to let you know, I got a smart meter cover. So I got house plans. I gave the plans actually to uh, friends of mine. They're now making smart meters for this area. They're starting up. I gave them the magnetic machines that Patty gave me. They're already doing that. I requested a wood stove right away, so I have one coming in out of, like, you know, Martinsville. <laughs> it's common. Thanks. It really is. And how are we going to do this? I'll just let you in on a tiny little thing. We are looking at doing a couple of movies that we have been approached by. Boom. Boom. Hollywood, here we go. Yeah. Right. Actually, they're supposed to come to us. <laughs> About time, right? right. Yeah, they're going to want to add is a copy of the show, and that's going to be in the archive. That'll, that'll be in there tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, my time in Australia right now, by the way, they're having breakfast. It's tomorrow. 
<laughs> and we got to thank John Allen and, and all the staff and everything and all those I mean, people I, down under there. Yep, that's, uh, that's how we work. We're all over the world, and we're here for everybody all over the world, including anybody right here in our country, which is all screwed up, and we're trying to unscrew it. Well, you know, that's what we got to do, and that's what they have the machines for and the biofeedback and the ore scanners and everything else. So those are having people having some difficulty that want to see what they can do distance healing. I do that in between all the rest of the fun shows. And if everyone's really, really excited, they can come to us because right after an hour break, we're going to have a little rest and we're right on a revolution video. And I'm sure we'll be doing some fun stuff with ground control with Keith Roberts following this. And also this week, we'll be doing some more, I'm sure, right with Andrew at Project Consumption. So next week, we're going to have some fun stuff going if everything works. Yes, absolutely. Keep tuned. Okay. Watch our websites and Facebook. Sure. We're growing, everything changed, everybody take a look at that because everything on the landing page, all the addresses that have changed, everything is now Pyramid One Radio all over the world. So today, we were, I, I mean, my fingers are like bleeding. <laughs> Typing. <laughs> I'm like, you know, how do you, how do you type out to a thousand places, you know? Yeah, and I really do encourage people to listen, get informed, get educated, and look at the stuff at Standing Rock, and look at what those women are doing. They're dancing on the highway there, you know? I'm dancing up here, and I've been at what they call a flash dance, and I'll show that next week a little bit, but there was me putting the water in with all the drummers and the warriors, <laughs> and 300 of us just took over the mall where my girl was at underneath, but yeah, we, we did that to celebrate that. All right, you guys. Um, start here. You guys are out of there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome show, awesome people, awesome everything. Thank you. All thank right. You. Patty, good night. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. What, the, the 10? I get, I get a few minutes to close up? We're done. Oh, we're done. We're done. Oh, we're done. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff.